Hi, Sherelle. Let's take a look at business unit number two, specifically step five. In step five, the instructions tell us to create an if statement if the yearly sales were 25 million or more. And if that's true, then display the result of yes. If it's not true, display a value of no. Okay, let's flip over to the Excel sheet and add this if statement. So it's a normal function, so I'm going to start out equals and then the function name. As I type that in, I can select it from the list, so I'm going to give it a double click here. And the first thing with an if statement, we always tell Excel, well, what's our test? In this case, we want yearly sales, which is F36, so I'm going to click on F36. It, if yearly sales is greater than or equal to 25 million, and did you notice how it's worded differently in the instructions versus how we actually type it in? That'll happen frequently. Think about what the instructions are telling you and then how do you translate that into something that Excel can understand. So, um, so we say greater than or equal to 25 million. Now I'm going to type a comma. If that's true, then the answer is yes. So in double quotes, I have to put the word yes. Another comma, what happens if it's false? Well, then we re return the word no. And because no is text, again, it goes in the double quotes. I'm going to wrap up that right hand parentheses and then press enter and then just double check to make sure it worked. Well, it is a yes. Um, there it happens. Oh, and you know what I see? Do you see what I, yeah, I didn't use the capitalization. You have to do that, right? The system is so picky. So make sure you write it in exactly as shown. Otherwise it might be deducted. So that's it for step five. I'll continue on a different video for other steps as well.